If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. I have opened a folder called full stack in the VS Code. After that, I am going to create a new folder inside this full stack folder that is backend. After that, I am going to create another folder called frontend. Okay, so next I am going to do is to take the terminal. After that, I am going to run the command that is npm init. Then after that, I am going to click and for all of these options as like this way. So after that, next I am going to run the command npm i express for installing express into our project. Okay, so now Express has been installed into our project. Next, I'm going to do is to do is I'm going to create a new file called index.js in the backend folder. So you can see that in the terminal, we have already given the index.js as main. That's why I have created the file called index.js in the backend folder. Next, I am going to import the express from express library as like this way. After that, I am going to define a variable called app and I am going to assign this express into this app variable as like this way. So, after that, I am going to do is I am going to call the function called get in this app variable and as a first argument i have given the slash the next i have given a callback function inside that i have given request a response and i'm going to send a response that is i'm going to give as server is ready okay fine then next i'm going to do is i'm going to define a new variable that is port and i'm going to assign this process.env.port or 3000 then after that i am going to call the function app.listen and inside that i am going to give port as the first argument and next i am going to give a callback function so inside this i am going to give as console.log and in the back tick i am going to give as serve at HTTP colon double slash local host and I'm going to pass this port into it as like this way. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to run the project. So I'm going to run the command npm run start. So now you can see that as of now it is showing an error that is missing script start. So for that I'm going to take the package.json and here I am going to change this test into start. And here I am going to give as node index.js as like this way. After that, I am going to run the project again. So now also you can see that there is an error that is cannot use the import statement outside a module. So for that, what I am going to do is here I am going to give as type. So at that time you can see that there is showing module. So I have given module. Okay. So after that I am going to run the project again. So now you can see that in the console it is showing serve at HTTP colon double slash local host 3000. So here we have already given that. So I am going to click on that. And you can see that here it is showing the message server is ready. Which we have given in this app.get. Okay, so we have sent the message. Next, I am going to do is to take the front end folder. And in the front end folder, I am going to create a new React.js project. So here I have renamed the terminal as backend and front end. And here I am going to take the front end folder. And inside this frontend folder, I am going to create a new React.js project by running the command 
npx create react app i'm going to give the name of the app as user app as like this way so now you can see that a new react.js project will be created okay so new react.js project has been created i'm going to run this new project as like this way so now you can see that uh, here is the project okay app.js next i'm going to do is i'm going to remove all the boilerplate codes or unwanted files so first of all i'm going to remove this logo from the public folder as like this way the next i'm going to take the source folder and here i'm going to remove this app.test and logo as like this way okay fine then after that i'm going to take the index.js file i'm going to remove this section after that i'm going to change the app.js and here i'm going to give as app so next i'm going to take the project at the time you can see the app here okay fine then next i'm going to do is i'm going to send a data from backend so for that i am going to use the json placeholder fake api so i am going to search for json placeholder fake api and i am going to click on this link here you can see that there is a section containing the list of users so i am going to copy this array from here after that i am going to create a new file in the backend folder that is user.js and here i am going to define a new variable that is users and i am going to paste the array here so you can see the array as like this way so next i am going to export this users so here i am going to give as export default users after that i am going to use that in the index.js file so here i am going to do is i am going to import that users from user.js as like this way then after that i am going to do is to call the function that is app.get and inside this get first of all i am going to give as slash api slash user and next i am going to give a callback function here i am going to give the request comma response and i am going to send the response that is response dot to send this users okay so we have sent the array from here next to we can we have to use that in the front end so for that first of all i am going to do is to take the app component and here i am going to define a new function so i am going to define the function that is get user which is an arrow function and i am going to use the fetch operation into it then here i am going to pass the http colon double slash local host colon 3000 slash api slash user then next i am going to take the response i am going to do is to convert that into json format and next i am going to log that json formatted response in the console next i am going to do is to call this function in the use effect hook so here i have given the dependency array and i am going to call this get user function as like this way then after that i am going to take the console so now you can see that there is an error so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this portion from here up to 3000 and here you can see that now it is only slash api slash user the next i'm going to take the package.json in the front end folder and here i'm going to give a proxy that is i'm going to give that http colon double slash local host 3000 here as like this way okay so after that i am going to do is to terminate the project in the backend and i am going to run the project again as like this way 
So now you can see that server at localhost 3000. And here also in the front end, I'm going to terminate the project and I'm going to run the project again. Okay, fine. So here you can see that here is the project. I'm going to take the console. So at that time you can see the array which we have sent from the backend. Okay, the list of users. So next I'm going to define a new state that is user, set user, which is equal to use state. I'm going to pass the empty array. After that, I'm going to give the set user here. Next, I'm going to map through this user state, user dot map. And I'm going to take the each user as data. And here I'm going to use the h1 tag and inside this h1 tag, I'm going to give the data dot name. Then next I'm going to use another h1 tag and inside that h1 tag, I'm going to give as data dot username. Then after that, I'm going to use another h1 and here I'm going to give as data dot email. Okay, fine. The next thing I'm going to do is to put these three h1 tag inside this as like this way. Then after that, I'm going to return this. Next, I'm going to give this name here. Then username. Then email colon as like this way. So next, I'm going to use a div tag and I'm going to put this inside this div as like this way. And here I'm going to give this style that is border 1px solid gray. And next, I'm going to give the width for about 500 px. So now you can see that this is a structure. Here is the name of the user, username, and email. If this video is helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel.